Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw, mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagaid ko kayo at tutulungan ko kayo sa inyong mga activities sa inyong module 2 about interest, maturity, future, and present values in simple interest. Okay! Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung simple and compound interest sa inyong module 1, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Ang ginagamit na formula for simple interest is I sub S equals P R T. Where I sub S is the simple interest, P is principal or the amount invested or borrowed or present value. R is the simple interest rate, and T is the time or term in years. The formula for finding the principal amount is P equals simple interest over R times T. The formula for finding the rate is R equals simple interest over T times T. And the formula for finding the time is T equals I sub S over P times R. Ito yung tinatawag na Triangle formula for simple interest. As you can see, I is equal to P, R, T. Kung kukunin ninyo yung principal, at di ba ang matitira lang is I over R, T. So, tatakpan nyo lang yon. Kung kukunin nyo naman yung rate, takpan nyo lang yung rate. So, magiging I over P, T lang siya, di ba? Kung tatakpan nyo to. Kung kukunin nyo naman yung time, ang matitira lang is I over P times R. Okay, so ganun yung gagawin ninyo sa triangle formula para madali ninyong maintindihan. To find the future value, you can use either of the following. We can use F equals P times quantity 1 plus R times T or we can use F equals P plus simple interest. Where F is the maturity or future value, pareho lang din yan. Yung I sub S naman is the simple interest. P is the principal or the amount invested or borrowed or present value. Yung R naman is the simple interest rate. And T is the time or term in years. So, para maintindihan ninyo, let us try to answer your activities. Disclaimer lang mga anak, papalitan ko yung mga values ng ibang given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung mga nasa modules ninyo kasi mas magandang matuto kapag kayo mismo ang magsusolve. Alright? Dito sa activity 1.1, if P is 4,500 pesos, R is equal to 1.25% and T is equal to 5 years, find the simple interest. So ano yung tinatanong dito? Simple interest. What formula will be used? So, ang gagamitin nating formula na ipakita ko kanina, that is I sub S is equal to P times R times T. So, simple interest is equal to PRT. Alright, so ganun lang siya. And how are you going to express the rate in percent? As you can see, meron tayong rate dito na 1.25%. So, ang tinatanong dito, how? So, pwede mong i-express yung rate in percent by multiplying it by 100. Pero, dito kasi ang given na is in percent na siguro decimal ito. Decimal dapat ito. How are you going to express the rate in decimal? So, paano natin i-express itong rate into decimal? You are just going to divide 100. Or you can just move two places to the left. So, we have 1, 2, and we will have 0 0.0125. So this is now the rate, 0 0.0125. If the question is how, then you are just going to divide 100 from the rate. Kung ito naman yung tinatanong, how are you going to express the rate in percent? Multiply naman. Pag decimal naman, divide. Okay? How much is the simple interest? So by using the formula, I sub S is equal to P 
times R times T. By substitution, we will have, ang P natin is 4,500 pesos. Then, multiply natin sa R na. Yung R na natin is 0 0.0125. Always remember na kapag imumultiply natin yung rate ay yung nakadecimal form. So, 0 0.0125. Then, multiply it by time na 5 years. You can use your calculator. Pwede kayong mag-download ng mga applications. Meron mga downloadable na scientific calculator. So, we will have 4,500 multiplied by 0 0.0125 times 5. And that would be equal to, kapag fraction yung lumalabas dito, pwede ninyong pindutin yung SD dito. So, we will have 281.25. Pesos. So, the simple interest is equal to 281.25 pesos. So, this is the answer for question number 3. Okay, so my bonus na kayo sa number 1. Now, we'll proceed to number 2. If P equals 5,000, R equals 3%, and T equals 8 months, Find the maturity value. Ang tinatanong naman dito is maturity value. Which formula will you use? Ang gagamitin kong formula ay F is equal to P times 1 plus rate times time. Ito yung gagamitin ko. Pero you can use naman yung P plus, ito, P plus I sub S or simple interest. How are you going to express the time in years? And as you can see, meron tayong 8 months dito, di ba? So, hindi siya naka-year. We can express this in years by dividing it by 12 months. So, in 1 year, there is 12 months, di ba? Meaning, we can reduce this to lowest term. 8 divided by 4 equals 2 over 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So, meron na tayong time na 2 third. Ngayon, how much is the maturity value? By substitution, F is equal to P times 1 plus R times T. Again, pinalitan ko yung rate dito ha, kaya wag nyo gagayain lahat. So, we will have, ang P is 5,000 pesos times 1 plus, ang rate natin is 3%. Convert pa natin to sa decimal. Move two places to the left. So, pag 3% yan, 1, 2, magiging 0 0.03. Multiply natin sa time na 2 third. Using your calculator, pwede ninyong i-compute na yan na dere-derecho. By showing your solution, pwede namang ito munang nasa loob, yung nasa parenthesis muna. So, that would be 0 0.03 times 2 third is equal to 1 over 50. I-add natin yung 1. That would be equal to 51 over 50. And then, multiply natin sa 5,000. So, we will have 5,100. Meaning to say, the maturity value is equal to 5,000. 100 pesos. So, this is the answer for question number 3. Nasundan ninyo? Okay, let's proceed to activity 1.2. Find the value of the required components in each item. Number 1, find the simple interest and maturity value if P equals 12,000, R is equal to 0.8% and T is equal to... 2 and 1 half years. Convert muna natin yung rate sa decimal. So, yung 0 0.8 magiging 1, 2, magiging 0 0.008 na siya. So, ang R natin is 0 0.008. At ang time naman, we will have 2 and 1 half years. Pwedeng 2.5 or we can express this in improper fraction. 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 1 equals 5 over 2. So, pwedeng 2.5 or 5 over 2. Then, ang P natin is 12,000 pesos. Unahin muna natin yung simple interest. What is the formula again? That is, I sub S is equal to P times R times T. By substitution, that is 
12,000 pesos multiply by ang rate natin is 0 0.008 times ang time natin is 5 over 2. Okay, then multiply na natin 12,000 times 0 0.008 times 5 over 2. That would be equal to 240. Meaning to say, ang simple interest is 240 pesos. So, for maturity value that is equal to F, is equal to P times 1 plus RT. By substitution, we will have 12,000 pesos times 1 plus ang rate natin is 0 0.008 times ang time natin is 5 over 2. Next is multiply 0 0.008 times 5 over 2 is equal to 1 over 50 plus 1 is equal to 51 over 50 or 1.02 times 12,000 is equal to 12,240. Future value or the maturity value is equal to 12,240 pesos. Okay na mga anak, nasundan nyo na kung paano kumuha ng future value at simple interest. Now let's proceed to number 2. If simple interest is 625 pesos, rate is equal to 2% and T is equal to 4 years, find the present value. So, ano ulit yung formula natin kanina to find the present value? We can use P is equal to simple interest over a rate times time. That would be P is equal to simple interest over rate times time. By substitution, ang um, simple interest is 625 pesos over ang rate is 0 0.02. Always convert ninyo sa decimal ha, huwag 2% lang. Pwede nyo namang ilagay na 2% basta may percent yung calculator ninyo. Then multiply natin sa time na 4 years. So 4, compute muna natin to. That would be 0 0.02 times 4 is equal to 0 0.08. 625 pesos over 0 0.08. And then, 625 divided by 0 0.08 is equal to, pindutin natin yung SD para magdecimal siya, 7,812.5 pesos. So, this is now the present value of the given problem. Okay na? Kung gusto ninyong panoorin yung Activity 1.3, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin kasi masyado nang mahaba. Okay? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!